In this video, I'd like to explain in detail about Kyoto City subway, JR, and other private railway trains, Kyoto City buses, and taxis. Each method is not difficult once you get used to it. Don't worry, travel like a local. Subway. First, there are two subway lines. Although they do not cover every part of the city like in New York or Tokyo, I think the subway is convenient because it is fast and there is no traffic congestion. The main line used is Kalasuma Line, which runs north-south through Kyoto City. It takes two stops from Kyoto Station to downtown. The Tozai Line runs east-west through Kyoto City and intersects the Kalasuma Line at Kalasuma Oike Station, where you can change lines. Shijo Station is the center of Kyoto City with many stores, offices, banks, and so on. Next, JR and other private railway trains. JR stands for Japan Railway and is a nationwide train system that provides convenient access to major cities in Japan. You can travel to other cities close to Kyoto, such as Osaka and Kobe, for a standard fare. You can also use the Shinkansen bullet train and other express trains to travel faster to other distant cities in Japan for an additional express fare. To get to the Osaka area, in addition to JR line, the Hankyu line or the Keihan line are also options. The route to Osaka and where in Osaka you arrive will depend on the line you use. Both the JR and Hankyu lines can be used to get to Umeda, one of the most populous areas in Osaka. It is kind of complicated, but... The name of the station on the JR line is Osaka, not Umeda, but this is very close to the Hankyu's Umeda station. Both stations are in the same area, Umeda. Anyway, you might ask if both the JR and Hankyu lines arrive in the same Umeda area of Osaka. What's the difference? Well, I would just use the JR line if I were near Kyoto Station and wanted to go to Osaka, and the Hankyu line if I were near downtown Kyoto. By the way, the Hankyu line stops at some interesting stations on the west side of Kyoto. Omiya and Sain have small restaurants where you can eat and drink cheaper than downtown. These are the unpretentious areas where I often hang out at night with friends. Happy birthday to you! Yay! Woo! Bye. Other private railways include Keifuku Randen tram line from Omiya to Arashiyama. and Eizan Railway from Demachi Anagi to Kibune, which are very cute trains. I will now explain about buses and taxis. During the tourist season, the roads can be crowded and it can be difficult to get going and the inside of buses can be chaotic. So please assess the situation and use them accordingly. There are Kyoto City buses and buses of other companies, but first, remember the iconic green color city buses. The fare is the same for most sections. When boarding the bus, go to the bus stop and board through the door in the middle of the bus. When you get off the bus, you get off at the front door and pay the fare at the driver's place. Before the station where you want to get off, press the button to let the driver know that you want to get off. Cabs are available from large companies such as MK and Yasaka and from other private cab companies, all charging about the same fare. Cabs have a logo light on the top of their cars that glows at night when the car is empty. 
During the daytime, it doesn't glow and there is only a small sign in Japanese to indicate that the car is empty, so it is difficult to tell. In such cases, you should just raise your hand anyway. If the car is empty, it will stop. Taxi, taxi, taxi. No. Also, there are cab stands near train stations and famous tourist attractions. There are two things to note about cabs. First, when getting into a cab, never do it yourself. As in Japan, the driver opens and closes the door for you. Second, when you tell the cab driver where you are going, in Kyoto, you don't give the address. Some drivers might just get confused if you just give them an address. What the heck, right? In that case, what should you do? If it is the name of a location such as Kinkakuji Temple or Fushimi Inari Shrine, they will understand. It is very common in Kyoto to say the name of two streets near the place you want to go. I'm gonna give you an example. Suppose you want to go to this restaurant. The driver may not know the name of this restaurant because it's a small restaurant. It is located near the intersection of Senbondori Street and Marutamachi Dori Street. You tell the driver, Senbon Marutamachi. It's getting a little difficult, isn't it? Then try the Uber app, which tells the driver exactly where you want to go and you don't have to explain yourself. Cash or most cabs now accept credit cards. You can also use the convenient Ecoca card, which I explain in other videos. Not all cabs support Ecoca card payment, so please check the display in the cab. Please watch the video about Ecoca cards after you finish watching this video. Now that I have introduced various means of transportation, let me conclude with a note on walking. In Kyoto, large streets have clearly separated bicycle lanes. On smaller streets, however, bicycles ride randomly. Please walk with caution. Please share your own stories of how you get around Kyoto in the comment section to help others on their next trip to Kyoto. I would love to hear from you. Bye bye! Konnichiwa! Did you like my video? My name is Yuki. I do dyeing and art in Kyoto. I have American customers and friends who come to visit the studio where I work. So I've completed some useful information for them on YouTube. I want to make the comment section of this channel, where everyone can share their opinions. What did you think of this video? Your experience in Kyoto? Please share with us. Don't forget to tell your friends about this channel. Have a nice trip.